Sandwick. All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we are on MX versus ATV Reflex. And today we're going to be doing 30 laps of rep testing on Sandwick. I thought this would be a really cool idea because you guys have told me you guys have wanted to see Reflex. So I figured I would. Oh my god! Bro! Come in here and do this. Um, have not played this game in a decent amount of time, but that's okay. Look at the ruts already forming. Um, me and Caleb have actually played on a lot of laps on here before, but I don't remember what it was like. So, as you can see, this is the first lap here. I have a ton of AI on. I need to actually rip real quick so I can get ahead of him. But yeah, the track's not beat up at all right now, so we're going to see what happens in 30 entire laps on Sandwick here. Excuse me, guys. I'm on my Honda 450 as well. There's already getting ruts made, dude. Dude, the one thing I love about Reflex is I remember back in the day, specific to any track, um... It would make pretty sick ruts you could rip on, dude. It was so fun. I don't remember. I haven't played this track in forever, so I kind of got to relearn the layout, bro. Oh, I watched the inside man. Oh, God damn. That was brutal. Bro, I made my own rut from that one. God damn. Bro, hey, hey, hey. How am I alive? All right, I'm curious to see what this gonna uh, is going to look like this next lap around because um, I was already seeing a rut form, dude, and I feel like this is going to be a sick video. All right. Uh, one thing. Oh, dude. Stuck in that. Perfect. I am feeling some ruts already. I mean, not surprising. Reflex has some good deformation, but nothing too big so far. You see, there's a couple mountains here and there on the second lap, but we are only on the second lap, dude. Imagine 30 laps. Dude, that was a sick inside rut. Oh, that's like, dang, that rut was pretty dang sick. Yeah, dude, the way this game just feels, whew, feels great, bro. Oh, my God, we got some ruts forming in that corner already. The thing I like about the ruts in this game is you can stick in them very good. Come on, bro. Get over there. All right. Yeah, you can stick in them. Like, see right there? I came in that corner so hot, but I just stuck right in that rut. Perfect. All right. We're about to come around for our third lap here underway. About 1 minute 40 lap times, but that's going slow. So we'll be here a little bit, but that's okay because I am having a ton of fun. So far, track, third lap. It's not looking half bad so far, bro. Not half bad at all. We got some pretty good ruts forming up, actually, you can stick into. Actually, real. Let's see if we got... Oh, God, it kind of got crossed right a little bit there. Oh, how am I alive? Look at this right. We got going off this face right here. Dang, bro, that thing's sick. Oh, God, we're landing flat. We're good. We're good. Oh, I bet there's going to be a lot of ruts forming up in these S corners right here because they're kind of flat. Yeah, look at that rut, dude. Oh, my God. And this one, what do we got going on here? Dude. <laughs> Three laps in, we got ruts like that. Dang, okay. I'm sure you guys have probably already seen rut testing videos on this game because it's quite old. Um... But I figured I'd come in here and do my own addition because why not? I just really wanted to do it. But, yeah. Coming around for lap four here. That corner looks like it's getting pretty dang gnarly. Oh, I hit a kicker, dude. God damn, bro. Scrub over that. Man, the scrubs in this game feel so good, dude. Yeah, we got quite a few ruts for him, actually. Pretty dang early on. Oh, my God. We hit a kicker. Or not a kicker. More like a breaking bump, you could say. <laughs> Um, I really like the fact that this game adds braking bumps in as well. Super cool. Yeah, look at this rut we got going on right here. That rut is sick. I wonder if we're going to start getting kickers at the faces, bruh. I think that used to happen. I kind of forgot. I, I, last time I played this game was ages ago, and memory's not the best. Dude, look at that rut. That rut is sick. What about this one? Oh, dude. See, that's what I love about Reflex. They feel like Legends ruts feel pretty good, but then they sometimes they feel like you can kind of grip it. I'm super good, but inconsistent. These ruts are, they feel amazing and they're consistent. So it's like, it's there. And if you hit it good, you can do it again every single lap. Except for just don't do what the hell I did there, bro. Because you're going to wad up. About to come around for our fifth lap out of, oh my god. Fifth lap out of 30 here. Dude, there is a fat breaking bump right there. Oh my god, bro. But yeah, lap 5 of 30 so far. And the track has some sketchy bumps, dude. Like, there are some spots that will catch you off guard. Like, if you go inside right here. Like, check this bump out right here. Right there. If you hit that bump pin, dude, you will go straight over the bars. And there's also one like you just saw before the finish line. So I can't wait to see what 25 laps is going to do to this track. Oh, God. Getting a little sketch here. This rut is one of my favorite right now. It's so sick, dude. Until I... Of course, bro, I'd do that. But look at it. Thing is sick, dude. Five laps in. That rut's pretty dang gnarly, dude. I don't know what's going on there, but... Yeah, those little rollers... Oh, my God. We hit a fat, fat death scene almost, dude. Come on, get up over that, man. Yeah, I really like the fact that actual bumps and stuff get added in here, like, for actual roughness. It feels really dang good. Like, see that? There's kickers off the faces and stuff already. And it's lap five, dude. Imagine 25 more. I don't want to, but we're going to have to see what it does. Look at it. Dang, that run was pretty sick. 
you can just tell by the way from the gameplay too what you guys are watching you can see how good it sticks in the rush bro like look how to hit the 10 lap mark we are one third of the way done let me tell you track is getting clapped dude the ruts are insane. Some of them are sick. Some are sketchy. Check it out. Look at this, dude. All right. So down this corner is pretty dang good. You can just go around and avoid this. Bro, oh, no. We didn't avoid it that time. Oh, no. Like, as you can see, look at that. There is so many mountains, dude. And then up here is pretty dang good so far, if I say so myself. Got a nice little rut action going on on here. But right through the inside, you can scrub up over that pretty good. Same with this section. Pretty dang smooth, I'd have to say. Face is getting a little bit kind of like kickered out um this rut is so sweet dude right here and then this rut is pretty dang good you kind of lose traction coming out of this one but not too bad here down here down the downhill getting a little bit sketchy with all those little rollers down the hill nice inside there but i missed it um this line's pretty good as well when you hit it and then you can go up over that do a nice awesome break tap land up here and then this corner it's kind of pretty sick as well it's not half bad but do you see how rough it is for my bike dude it's like mountains coming out of it this section is getting so sketch High speed, you just have a bunch of bumps everywhere, even off the face, bro. Nope, so sketch. Um, through here is not half bad either. Up over this isn't bad. The, but the thing is, the ruts are really good. Like, you can stick in these so good, but occasionally times like that happen. Um, personally, I've just been going around this to get the fast drive for that. Because um, that face is actually getting chewed up a lot, losing a lot of height, getting really hard to clear from that line. So I've just been taking this line, bro. And then I cut down right through here into these ruts over them pretty much, I guess you could say. And then through this inside, and that's a lap around the track right now on lap 10. As you can see, it is getting pretty dang sketch, and we are only a third of the way there. We have 20 more laps to go. You getting so sketchy, dude. I'm hitting bumps I didn't even can't even see sometimes. Like, oh my god, like, oh my god. And dude, you guys need to check out this face coming up, dude. It is getting like peaked out, dude. It's crazy. It's getting peaked. I'll show you guys one. Come up over this bruh. Through here. Take the outside. Oh, we're going inside. Don't hit that. Look at how peaked out it is. It's getting, it's getting like bumped out at the bottom, and then it's just like slamming your suspension off the face, dude. Oh, this rut's still pretty dang sick. I actually went around it there, but this sec, this rut is getting clacked. Look at that. I was about to rail that, but I dragged my bars and my pegs through some little mini mountains, and it just broke my guy. He's like, oh, nope, I'm getting off this PZ. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is what you can see halfway in looks like. And it's hard to carry momentum because my bike keeps hitting those little mountains and bouncing up. So I don't know what, <laughs> what double this is going to look like. Dude, look at that. Double this is going to be absolutely insane. But I guess while we're in here, I could talk about how, I feel, how I'm feeling about Legends. Because I've been playing Legends quite a bit, like getting a little bit better at it. And let me tell you. Um, the more I play it, the more fun it gets. I get like, I'm getting more used to it. And you can throw some pretty sick oppos, whips, and scrubs in that game. It's just a really weird way. And it makes, you have to really flick it off the face. Because if you try to do it in the air, your bike just is super stiff. Which makes total sense. Oh my god, dude. Homie on the cow. He's stuck on the inside rut there. Not a good situation for him. We're going right around him. Up through this face. Man, I have a good rut going on through there. You can just scrub it. Not the best scrubs, but some is better than none through there. And, you know, trying to rip it up. Oh, dude, no, I almost railed that so good. Kid on the KDM, bro, maybe not. The track has came a long way from where it started because... Oh, my God! There is a big braking bump slash acceleration bump in that corner, dude. Oh, my God. Also, happy 4th of July to everyone. Regardless if this is posted before the 4th of July or after, I hope you guys all have a great Independence Day. Happy 4th of July to you. Hope you guys have some cool fireworks, some good food, and yeah, just have a great day in general, you guys. All right, we just hit lap 20. As you can see, I just respawned because I came into that corner and I hit that same bump and just wadded myself, dude. So the track is... Okay, no way, bro. How? The track is getting so gnarly, though, dude. It's not even funny, dude. Got some big braking bumps, some big acceleration bumps, and... As you can see by my bike sliding everywhere, we just got a ton of stuff going on on the track that I can't even comprehend right now. We just got a whole bunch of everything going on. The E-Road in this game is amazing, dude. It just feels so good. Look at this rut, dude. All made from the E-Road. So sick. Same with this one. Like, dude, of course I messed it up, bro, but so sick. We got this section has a pretty good rut going on, too. You could, like, oh, save it, save it. No. Oh, dang. But yeah, as you guys can see, we got some some spots that'll catch you off guard if you're not paying attention. Um, with ten more laps to go, though, we're only we're two thirds of the way there, so we're over halfway. 
But dude, it is it is getting sketchy. We've been here for quite a while playing, but that is okay. But it is getting kind of sketchy. Save it. Okay, we're good. Oh my, like look at that. Look, I'll stop for a sec. Look at the track. It's all mountains, dude. It looks like MX but This reminds me of MX bikes when you put Max E-Road on, but it actually feels rideable and it feels like it should. All right, you guys, we're about to come around for our 25th lap with only five laps to go on. The track is getting, it's, it's bad, dude. The track is gone. Like, that's all there is to it. It's so sketch. Take a horrible line through there. Dude, there's just a lot of braking bumps, acceleration bumps, kickers. I mean, you can rip pretty st pretty hard on it still, I say, but it's still it's just, you can get caught off guard so easily, dude. Like, if you go around these outside lines, it's not too bad, except for I did a horrible job of showing you guys, but yeah, it's bad, dude. It's it's sketch. Ugh. I feel like so maybe, is there a cap on how much E-Road there is? Because I feel like, no, it's definitely getting worse. Never mind. I was going to say maybe it's not, but it definitely is getting worse. You can feel it. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm railing these ruts right now, man. This is sick. This stretch pretty dang sick as well. Yeah, look at all those mountains, dude. Insane. We can go around the outside here and get a sick drive for this. Scrub that. Brake tap. Up over that. This drive wasn't half bad last time. Let's see if we can hit this pretty good. Okay, well, yeah, we hit that pretty good, all right. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, as you can see, the track is just obliterated, dude. We got about four more laps to go until we take our slow cruiser lap around the track. Dang, bruh. Around the track just to cruise, see what it's happened after 30 laps of E-Road on this uh, Southwick track or Sandwick I'll call it. I don't know if it's a replica after Southwick. I'm just assuming it is because it's so closely named to it. Alright you guys, we're about to take our slow cruiser lap and check out the track. We almost checked out from the second place uh, about six minutes almost. But yeah, let's take our slow lap around here and check the track out. This first off is where the finish line is, bruh. Kept hitting that big kicker right there on the inside. Up over the finish line. Uh, we just recently lapsed some bots. They're probably being coming back. But that's okay. Um, some big breaking bumps in here. They were already here at the start, I think, if I remember right, but just not as big. Um, lots of ruts coming down the hill here and a sketchy kicker, dude. If you hit this right here, bro, it was death. Or that one right there. Ton of ruts here. I was going outside, very far outside. Worked pretty dang good here. Um, <clears throat> not much through this section, you know, just the normal normal section here not too much going on through here but through here look at this you guys the face of this jump divots down and like it's all dude it's all messed up it's all like peaked out and stuff it's just how do i reverse in this game here i'll just whip it around look at it it just looks it's it's not dude it's not how it used to be at all bro so sketchy one lap I actually caught myself coming around here tried to hit it so pin flew and hit reflex coming off the face i hit so hard super sick rut through there this rut is insane, but dude, look at the, just look at it. There's mountains everywhere. So rutted and eroded up, dude. The terrain deformation on this game is pinned. Get through here, nothing special. Nice little inside rut here. Not much erode right here. It felt like there was more earlier on, but not a whole lot through there. But up here through this corner, we got quite a bit, dude. And this is coming straight away. Look at this corner. Dude, literally have like mini mountains going on, dude, through here. And then down the straightaway, this jump got like shaved off, dude, so much. You can basically just pin it across her flat. And over here, this face actually got like some more. Down through here is pretty dang gnarly, dude. Lots of lines. I mean, you could go inside, outside. Look at the plant, dude. It's literally through the ground, bro. The ruts are so deep. Look at this. My bike. Do you guys see this, right? Look at how this looks. This is some deep ass ruts, dude. Some deep ruts. Even how to take a screenshot of that. Oh, AI getting sketched. Bro, look at that. Insane. Through here wasn't too bad, nothing too bad through here, just kind of flats, just a couple ruts here and there, but this actually didn't really wrap too bad. The face, on the other hand, stopped on a dime right there. Look at the difference. This is how the face was, and now how it is. Look at the height difference, you guys. Absolutely insane how it, what, how it is. I mean, how it was right here, how it is. Look at the height difference. Watch me ride down it. Bro, do you see how much of a height difference that is? That is insane. And then we go through here, just a ton of mountains, dude. Absolutely insane. I don't think the corner up here had um, that much at all, bro, or any really at all, I don't think. Let me check up here real quick. Yeah, not a whole lot going on through here, just a bunch of bumps. Um, nothing too special. A couple ruts through here, and that is a wrap, you guys. That is, what, 30 laps of terrain deformation on a sand track in MX versus ATV reflex looks like. It's absolutely insane, bro. If you guys want to mess around, have some fun, still rip some rideable ruts, I definitely advise doing it. <clears throat> um, super fun to come in here and make this video. I hope you guys did enjoy me uh, 
experimenting with this even though a lot of you guys have probably already seen it i still had a ton of fun doing it if you guys stay to the end of this video let me know by commenting reflex down below just say reflex um Ooh, hit that off the face, bro. Yeah, just say reflex down below. Let me know you say to the end. And if you did, man, give yourself a pat on the back. You deserve a cookie. Shout out to you. Much love. Very much appreciate you guys staying to the end. You guys are the real homies. And I appreciate every single one of you that really watched my videos. I really do. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's experiment slash video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Drop a like, except if you did enjoy. And we'll see you guys in the next video.